Well, I do have a cat suit. Yeah. Lovely night sky, 1943. Congratulations, Harry. However, employee art week is now over. Would you kindly disconnect your electrified wires? I can't even get to the plug. Ass. <laughs> Someone out of the S. Save Harry's fireworks. Sign the petition. Don't let the Philistines in management take Harry's art down. They got four signatures. Victory day to all employees from Alfred Southwick. It has come to my attention that certain employees are using live wires as Victory Day sparklers. Let me remind you that Victory Day is not for several more months, besides which the sparklers are a safety hazard. On the subject of safety hazards, whose turn is it to empty the rain buckets? I found four of them overflowing on Tuesday. Kindly do not let this happen again. Accidentally poisoned the muffins. They even on joy, people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the joy. Magnificent muffins. To whom may concern from Tommy Flanders. We've had a bit of an accident. Henrietta made muffins for the bake sale, but mistakenly used the almond gas for flavoring. She's now gone on holiday, and I've given my staff leave until further notice. Meanwhile, do not eat the muffins or enter Sector 3 without a gas mask. room is maybe important later? Unless this is the reason I came in here, I guess. Increased speed of crafting by 20%. Crafting has never been slow. I should heal myself, actually. Oh, I didn't go in here. Things. They sort of look like tea kettles, don't they? How have I not noticed that? Mrs. Chippy Park. Mm. That was a bad noise. get through there. This isn't taking me anywhere. Oh, pipe wrench. Whoa, that's the first time I've seen that. Oh, here we go. Somewhat helpful in convincing people to lie down also tightens nuts. Slow, but deals heavy damage when it connects. Heavy. It actually does more damage than the winning argument, but its speed is way lower and takes more effort. So is this thing like an enemy? Is it going to try to kill me? Nah. I don't think these bodies are ever going to have anything on them. None of them have so far.
Bad Batches of Joy to Dr. Anton Verloc from Tommy Flanders. Thank you for your response to my letter about Bad Batches of Joy. While well, I appreciate your offer, if I send any employees who has a problem with the recent batch of joy to Howarth for your experimental treatment, you'll have my entire bloody staff knocking on your gate. I hope you've got a plan B. Uh, the joy's going bad. That'll drive the entire town crazy. I don't know what this does, but I'm probably supposed to use it. I have a feeling there's not supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board. Did I just... I think I just stopped pumping Motilene through most of Wellington Wells. Formula adjustments. From Dr. Verloc to Alfred Southwick. Dear Mr. Southwick, thank you for your recent memo. We are experiencing a temporary problem while we adjust the joy formula slightly to take advantage of some new materials. Meanwhile, it can't hurt if they double their dosage, can it? The more the merrier. Yes, it can hurt, as that previous note mentioned. It is hmm. becoming rather unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. Oh, I gotta rotate the floor. Oh, this thing only goes on tracks? Oh, I actually get to drive this thing? Oh, hell yeah! Well, this is the slowest roller coaster I've ever been on. Activate ludicrous speed. Honk the horn. Activate ludicrous speed. Oh, it is actually playing from inside. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry, can't stay. I know I need to escape, but just hold on a second. There might be like duct tape in here or something, which I don't need, but I still want. Okay. So there's an exit door here, I think, but I'm gonna have to turn on some power switches. That was a really cool sequence. <laughs> Just some fun music playing and this silly vehicle, I don't know, I still don't even know what the hell that thing is exactly. A jubilator. But you can go fast, you can suck, and you can horn. Like, why am I even picking that lock? It just gave me two rotten apples. Wash station, map, testing track, lube, and suction. I honestly don't need any of that stuff. Is that how the bobbies get around? I oh, if they ever get stuck, it could get awkward. <laughs> so they're not teleported to those different things that you see around. They're like sucked into it. It's like big suction tubes. Powered by motiline gas or something. That is hilarious.
Oh, I don't think I can hurt it. Oh, I'd love to stay here, but I can't. Where's the door? Well, I can get out that way. For heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? I think if I redirect the Motoline to power the grid... Jubilator weaknesses. Nice, convenient. I tried to slow down Peter's Jubilator like you asked, but they're robust buggers. Turns out a Jubilator only has three weaknesses. A big electric shock, bashing open the rear access panel and extracting the activator. Um, and then number three, there might only be two, come to think of it. Obviously none of these things is exactly subtle. Please advise. Rear access panel, so and then extract. Damages, what can I sap it with? Screw that, I want to bash its back panel. Whoa! Is this doing anything? Well, that seems bad. Uh oh. That fucked me up with joy. You might want to stay out of sight for a bit, otherwise, people will become upset at you. Oh, we are really fucked up. Oh, I need health, too. Looks like it's gonna disappear soon. Maybe? Does it disappear after the outer ring disappears, or does it then have to go to the inner ring? Now we're good. Okay, that didn't last too long. Just need some food. I don't think I want anything meat-based. Let's not have victory meat. Just assuming it's all made of humans. I'm starting to think this just isn't going to work. Around here. I think if I redirect the Motoline to power the grid. Okay, so I just need to get the other places to redirect it from other places, although it still says I haven't flipped any power switches. Ugh. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. Oh, never mind, we're fine. Jubilator Grand Derby. Oh, they're betting on who, who's gonna win. Oh! Kitchen headquarters. I sort of think this place is about to explode. Workbench upgrade kit. Still don't know what that does. Urgent joy request from Penelope. Oh, from Penelope Snug. Hold on, that. Snug was mentioned back here. Yeah. Scribble note about Miss Snug. Someone has a permanent solution to the joy problem, says Miss Snug. Dear Anton, my workers seem to have received a weak batch of joy. That is, it takes them, it makes them half as happy. 
unfortunately makes them just as foggy. As a result, they've been doubling up on Joy, and this is making them rather too foggy to work. Haven't we seen this note? They no longer remember to put on their gas masks. Half our glee club has gone on holiday from taking off their masks to sing. That looks dangerous. Car wash key card. Worker's key card. No, no, no. Uh, okay, sure. Jubilator speed testing. I need the switches to turn on this bloody door. use of jubilators. Please note that the proper function of a jubilator is to dispose of downers who have gone on holiday in public and to diffuse airborne, airborne joy to citizens who may have forgotten to take their pills. A jubilator is not a mechanical steed for jousting and betting. We are becoming quite short-handed as a result of this tomfoolery since the cockpit burns up when one jubilator smashes another. They are almost invincible except for the electrical issue we are working on, but even a rock can be broken by another rock. It has further come to my attention that certain employees attempted to sabotage jubilators to gain advantage in illicit competitions. Perpetrators will be caught and damage will be docked from their pay. Penelope. P.S. Kindly do not sound the tootlers indoors. It alarms the secretaries. Tootlers. Okay, what do you mean dispose of downers? Do you mean, like, suck them up? As trash? Or what? I'm not getting past oh, those jets without shit. getting poached like an egg. I'll turn them off. Uh, I mean, I turned off... Rotated this. Wait, I can rotate it again? Oh, it only works for a short amount of time, doesn't it? Gotcha. Very short amount of time. I need to sprint, basically, after I do it. Uh, hold on, hold on. I gotta wait for that to go past. One, two more, I think. Whoa, the hell was that? I think it just teleported me back here. So yeah, this is definitely not where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Just 
to turn on this bloody door. Wait, where exactly do I go now? I've gotten the key cards. I got two key cards. I've only used one. Where does the other one go to? For heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? I think if I redirect the motoline to power the grid. Maybe this is another temporary thing where I have to sprint back to then activate this in time or something. Oh. I think I just totally missed this one. Yeah, that one's still done. Yeah, okay. I think if I redirect the motoline to power the grid. Am I missing another one? Doesn't anything work around here? Oh yeah. Oh, I see it. What's that person doing up there, by the way? Put gas mask on before taking joy. Don't forget that thing you forget, or forgot, forget, no. Do not take your mask off to sing. Good rules. Okay, now what? Oh, I think it's, I think it is in here. I need to go further up. I just never looked up. Probably jump here? Yeah. Oh, uh, if I go there, the steam is gonna push me off, but I can probably grab this, yeah. Right, I can open that bloody door now, I hope. Jubilator. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. <laughs> Jubilator quick start manual. Get in the cockpit, push the go button. Go. From Peter Thump to Penel Penelope Snug. I don't like to be a teller of tales, but Thomas Horner is the one making book on the Jubilator races. He's always tempting us to bet, then taking our money. Other people's money, I mean. I never bet myself. I also believe he's monkeying with the Jubilator's speed dials to fix the races. Many workers, not me of course, get in debt to him and are forced to hand over their paychecks. I thought you'd want to know since you're, since you put such trust in him. I am sorry to inform you that your promotion to second shift supervisor has been denied on account of your behavioral infractions. I am shocked to learn that gambling is going on here. When Peter explained the situation to me, I had no choice but to make him supervisor instead. Oh, really? That doesn't seem very smart to just... Tell them who told on them. Yeah, Peter told me. Ugh. P.S. In light of your precarious position here, I would not be making book on any Guy Fox Day jousting tournaments if I were you. P.P.S. If you insist on in proclaiming your innocence, then I suppose I don't owe you ten quid for the Grand Derby, do I? A permanent solution. Again. Better chemistry set. 
I don't think I want to make any of that. Electricity can overload the jubilator and cause massive short circuit. Pilot is trapped inside. Fix this! Do not eat my yogurt. Tea kettle. Yeah, I've got one. Is it just gonna keep giving me unlimited? Oh, just a couple. So I think I need to get into the center to... Unless... I guess the big shock is just to live by the shock grenade, huh? I thought I'd have to, like, flip a switch to shock it or something. No. That? I did not expect. Gotcha! Did they... Did they die? Not sure. Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realize it was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there, tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh, look, it's time for my tea break. ta -ra! This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. Dear Penelope, I received your note about the latest batch of joy. You did the right thing in writing to me directly. On train now, I'm working on a permanent solution that will render our current joy program obsolete, but you didn't hear it from me. Warmly, Anton. P.S. Please convey my warm regards to Richard. I've been meaning to have you both round to dinner. It's been too long. again. Oh, my shoes must have broke at some point. Terribly busy. What is it? Gemma's been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a pop. Oh my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my! That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry, he's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc, he's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, see if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. You never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. The adulator looks very creepy. Says no time to be friendly. An adulator will do it for you. Greets people for you. 
has a cooldown period between greetings. Let's see if this thing works. Has it already been used or something? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we are actually going to go inside of Howarth Labs. <laughs>